Uh, tell me the day that started with fight, but you'll be frustrated the lack of fight at the end of it, I guess. Oh, I wouldn't say the lack of fight. I just think the whole way we played these last four days have been pretty poor. Um, you know, for a team and the players that we have, we haven't been able to put it together with the battle with the ball yet, which has been extremely frustrating. You know, we've maybe this is the wake up call that we sort of needed this early in the year because you know you can talk about reputations and what we have and what people have done, but you know to go out and do it is, is a different thing. You know, we have obviously got guys that are coming back that haven't played a lot of cricket. Um, over the last year and a half, we've got, um, you know, batsmen that have probably not performed as well as they have over the last uh, year or so. So, um, you know, for us as a team to start putting these things together, putting those puzzles together, um, and as you're, you're right, showing that, probably showing that bit more fight from day one and not only when our backs up against the wall. Was it harsh words at the end of this match? No, definitely not. You know, I think it's too early in the season to be pointing fingers and shouting and screaming. You know, we as individuals know where we're lacking. We as a team know where we're lacking. It's just trying to work these things out um, and putting them into place. You know, Stewie's still been quite quiet. He's still observing. He's still having a look at the way we do things. He's got his views. He's spoke after the game and said that he wants to speak to everyone individually about where he feels they're lacking and where he feels they can improve. Um, and, and ultimately what they're doing well as well. So, um, you know, it's, it's you know, both sides of, of the coin, if you want to put it that way, because we have got the players, we just need to start putting in consistent performances. A slight improvement on last week, perhaps, but it was quite the side you're up against this week in Lancashire as well. Yeah, look, I, I, I think it's frustrating the fact that we haven't been able to put runs on the board and on those same wickets haven't been able to bowl teams out. So I think that's the frustrating thing. I think it would have been fine if we're, you know, say struggling with the bat but bowling well or bowling well or struggling or either way, whatever, you know, vice versa. But, you know, just to, to put your finger on why we're just not bowling well enough with the bowlers we have and why we're not bowling, uh, batting well enough with the batters we have, that's that's the tough bit about putting your finger on it. Does a break come at a good time? You, know, you say it's two years where Middlesex be feeling they've underachieved. Two games in, break for the One Day Cup. Is that a chance for yourself and Stuart Law to analyse the first two games and what needs to improve, or how it needs to improve? Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, I think I think first and foremost the wickets that we get here, looking at this one, look like they're going to be better than the last couple of years that we've had, which is obviously going to change the makeup of our team and and the type of bowlers we pick. Um, you know. He's almost going back to 2016, 2015 wickets where they've a little bit, they're, they're flatter, if you want to put it that way. I think the heavy roll has made a difference. Um, you know, and if they're going to be, well, hopefully they're going to be even harder than this one, um, which means they'll probably turn a bit more as well. Um, so then that gives us an option to well, play a spinner, which we didn't play last year. Yeah. Although the spinner in this match didn't do too badly, the skipper. Yeah, I don't know how myself and Glenn Maxwell and Sam Robson got 10 wickets between us in the game, maybe even more. Well, maybe I think it was 13 wickets in, in that, which is obviously disappointing from all our batters that got out against all of us, uh, all of the batters in the game that got out to spin. But um, yeah, look, credit to Maxwell, he bowled well. Um, you know, we, we, as I said, we just haven't been able to put it together with a bat and a ball. It's been like this for about two years now, so it's about us, us actually being honest with ourselves and working out a way to put it together as a team and not only individually. One day cup, a chance to shake everything down, just get ready for Friday, go again with something very different, which again, a break might, might actually come at a good time for Middlesex. This is something very different now. You'll be looking to play different players, obviously, at the same time, but very different results as well. Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, we've got different combinations that we're looking at for, for one day cricket. If we keep doing what we have done for five years, we're going to get the same results. So, you know, we're going to bat, bat players in different positions um, now and again. We're going to play different bowlers, we're going to try different things here and there, so it doesn't mean that we're just going to be experimenting, but you know, we want to put a few things together in the white ball stuff, because same thing, we've been poor for probably 10 years in white ball cricket. So. You know, it's a tough one first up at Essex, and I guess the coach knows it as well, having played most of his career there. Yeah, look, they're a fantastic white ball team, um, you know, and it's a good test for us to, to show us where we're at this early in, in the white ball competition.